We're doing around here, around for customs. Time for another Monday vlog. Uh, we'll finish off. <laughs> we'll finish where we left off, machining these blanks up on the lathe, and we're going to do a bit on the old Jess Thousand. So uh, buckle up. Let's fucking get on. My lovelies, let me just <coughs> not quite clipped in properly. Bear with. Uh, we're going to make another slug. Uh, we uh, re we redressed the issue. That's not the right terminology, is it? But there you go. Um, figure of speech, not term of phrase. We sorted the problem out with the lathe trying to machine on Saturday. First of all, Saturday mornings ain't great for it because me heads up my arse usually. It's when people come in and visit and all that, you know. We don't take visitors in the week, if we can help it. Um, but we sorted it, and we're back with the, this WNMG, whatever it is, the triangle, big lozenger, six-sided thing. Uh, and we're just facing and machining this slug down, so we'll make this into a 60 by whatever long they are, blank. Um, and go from there. So I'll fast forward through the machining bits. I just wanted to introduce this segment, so here we go, happy days. place bear with so we've got a blank or blanks we've got those blanks cut out up machined out um, now what I'm gonna do is turn the the outside diameter the, there's a bit needs to slip up some tube and there's a little 50 mil step and then there's a radius so I'm gonna turn a section down to 50 then come back 3 mil and section down to 40 and then we can look at boring it out so that's next on a 40 mil and that should be a nice fit in this tube which is what we make the rest of the edge stock out of and it's a bit tight it's just a little bit tight that's not a bad thing let me just break the edge and then we'll see what's what there may be a tiny burr in here that I've not cleaned out properly but a, a knocking fit is bob on and that'll go that'll be a knocking fit lovely it measures bang on 40 and the inside of this is bang on 40 so they are just an interference right now what we need to do I'll take you in a bit closer we need to work this transition this step we need to fuck that off because it's fugly yeah so the tube's going to go butt up to this go in butt up to this and it's the same diameter as this part of the step yeah here so this bit needs blending in. So we're going to change the tooling over to a button tool, button insert, and uh, slow things down a notch and just smooth that bit out. Hey, scream if you want to go faster. So we've slowed things right down, and I can't see properly. Let me just move you, bear with. There you go. So we should, by rights, 
be able to pretty much do this with a couple of plunge cuts. So, in fact, I, one might do it. Oh, I'm fucking happy with that. Just notch it up a little bit. Just, just a little, little bit. Look. There we go. That is happy days. I'm just going to break that very that outside edge there. Look. Like that. And then we'll break this edge that you can't see. Let me move you again. Come on. It's going to break that edge with this round tip, with a button tip. Like that. That's that. Sorted. That's one blanked out. Completely blanked out. I'm going to take this out of the chuck. I'm not going to machine. <clears throat> I'm going to machine the other one the same. Then we'll put them back in this way round. And we'll bore the centre out and take this out to take the uh, take the headstock bearings. So happy days. That'll press into the tube. That'll be machined out to set a bearing. Fucking jobs are good. And I'll get the other one done off camera. Okay, so if my fucking editing skills are up to much. You'll now be uh, ready to see me bore out, I've spun them round, bore out these for the bearings. Look, we've, we've made two blanks, we've turned them into inserts that will push into a bit of tube, wherever I'll put the bit of tube, there it is. Uh, now we need to have the guts out of it to take the bearings, so let me strap you in, hold on, bear with. There you go. So. We need to take this out to 50.28 and depth of 15 millimetres. So we'll get started with the centre drill, as always, and then we'll go from there. Now we're in with a pilot, 10 mil pilot, and what we actually need to do is go 30 millimetres all the way through. So we'll take this 10 mil all the way through and then we'll look at setting up to uh, take the, the centre out of it to 30 mil. Right, oh, we have a 30 mil drill bit. So we're going to take that 10 mil hole out to 30 mil. It's nice and steady. Slow things down. I'm hoping we don't get too much chatter, but that will remain to be seen. Stream if you want to go faster again. Right oh, with that 30 mil hole drilled out, <clears throat> we can now go ahead and start milling, uh, boring out the centre. Milling, what's wrong with that? So we put a boring bar in and we'll take a, a preliminary cut. Uh, where we're we going? 15 mil deep out to 50.28. So we'll. Oh, that's nice. That's cutting lovely. Yeah. Uh, we'll go down to 15 mil with this test cut light, hold on, bear with, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, right, let's see what size the hole is, so we are at 31.82, so I've set my digital readout, to 3182 and then we'll start machining this away. So, we're on the last cup. I'm taking a tiny little bit out. And this should take us to 50.28. Nearest bucket is to swear in. Let's have that out and have a quick check. Let's have a quick sanity check. Hey, hey boys, 
So we want 52A and we've got 50. Come on. No, we've not. We've got 50.12 is as big as 1517. 50.17 is as big as I can get it. Who are misses? So hmm. I'm going to set my read out. Just dial that in at 51.7. I think 51.5. So hold on. Here we go. X is. 50.15 and top I'm sorry banging you about now we'll take that out to 50.28 which is what we want we'll go again and it's not absolutely crucial as long as the head, head steady bearings the head stock bearings go in there and behave themselves you know we're not it's not spinning at 100 mile an hour it turns through 30 degrees maximum in the duration of its life life so I'm not that scared of it being uh, a little bit tight or just a little bit loose 50.3 there you go that's what we've got so that's bang on size for the bearing that'll do me so there you have it really I've got to break this edge I'm going to machine a step inside that you won't really be able to see um, but I'll do all that off camera and then I'll repeat the same with the other cup. You know, we'll make this into one of them like. And then he can join me on the bench as we're pressing them together and ticking it up like. Right oh, so here's those made up with the recess bit inside. Uh, the eagle eyed amongst you might see that they're a little bit shorter than they first appeared because we uh, we had a slight need to alter that, which is no worries. Um, now what we need to do is make the whole headstock, so we've got these two ends look that are going to go like that on this bit of tube inside um, and that needs to be 180 from top to bottom so they're 25 each well 25.2 and 24.8 because we're, we're not worried about 10 thou light 25 each to that shoulder so that's 50 off 180 which is a standard steering stem length of Harley Davidson um, means that we need a piece of this 130 mil long so I'll rough it off in the saw and then face it off in the lathe and we can go for now. So I want to show this but there's a good reason there's a reason that I want to if I can find me fucking right, get this out turn it around I've already faced one end off but I want you to see me facing the other end off for the simple reason get it about true hold on simple reason that the tool that I'm using has just been dropped off by our Todd if you're watching Todd I'm on it already look you've only just drove off he just picked his triumph up if you followed his exploits You'll see, I've just done the Triumph Lure or Idea. Um, so what I'm going to do is set, I want 130. So I'm going to measure 130 off this, off the end of the headstock, off the face of the chuck. And that is where we're cutting. We're Todd's tool, who her is. So I could turn my DRO on and zero it, which I'll do. Bear with. Just in case. It... I need to reference it again, but I think we're all right. I'm just nice and steady. Bearing in mind, I've got a lot hanging out because the job won't go up the uh, the throat of the spindle. So we just face that off like fucking so. Well happy with that. Now she blows, Captain. So now, knock that out of the way. Break that edge with me knife. Uh, we might just tickle that edge. Hold on. 
I don't want to put a chamfer on it because I'm going to TIG weld it, so I want it fitting nicely. And that is golden. So we can get that, get the ends pressed into that, and then we can TIG it up and we'll have an headstock. So we've got them ends in. We'll give it a clean up, which is wire brush on the grinder. Well, the, uh, not the grinder, the angle, yeah, the angle grinder, so yeah, wire brush on the grinder. Um, what, what I've been taught is to put a bit of soft down, put a bit of aluminium down, because sometimes when you're TIG welding, the arc, this, this vibrates. You've seen me do it before, if you've watched, and it fucking moves. This thing shakes as you're welding it, because of the... the uh, current passing through it gives it a tremble on light which is a bit fucking random someone said put it on Ali put Ali down give it a bit of that light get that on there light and you'll be all right and it's so far so good so I'll get that ticked up and that's the headstock done Headstock, it's fucking art. So, watch me. Now, I need to make these aren't for this. I need to make some for <coughs> Andy's frame. Um, these are for the Triumph frame, which I'm also hoping to get done this month. So, here's the headstock finished, and now I'm going to make some of these pillbox axle plate just to type things. Look, happy days. So, in order to make these, we start off with two bits of tube and split it and then put a bit in and then we make a plate for the axle and so on and so forth. Now, for some reason better known to someone else, I've fucking run out of material, have not I? Look, I'm that bit short, that, it needs to be about that long, less the thickness is, so I think shorter than that, but that's what I'm after, like. So I'm having to fucking make a bit, make a bit of fucking, what are you doing? I'm making a bit of tube. Oh, hiya, yeah, I've just spun this down to 50 mil OD the end of this hydraulic rod and now I'm going to bore the middle out to 40 mil uh, and then I'm going to cut myself a bit off the right length and fucking get on with it like Bob's your auntie like you couldn't make it all could you so here we go then cutting the tube that I've just made look <sighs> then we'll get it all faced up in fucking happy days and we'll do the same with a bit in the back get them off to 50 mil long that'll be uh, job done and now we'll put some bits of this 10 mil flat and make the inside part of it with a slot in for the axle to run in. Right oh, so we've cut those two blanks. Now we're just going to square the ends off in the milling machine. I'm just going to touch on and run gently across. Lock a bed off and move front to back. Or back to front, actually. Like that. Happy days, that'll do me. So we've had contact all the way along there. So that edge is now square to the job light. We'll repeat that with the other three sides and then we'll get these tacked together and look at cutting the slot in them. All right, now we'll give the sides a light to dusting. Yeah. Just touched off and gone a couple of thou. And it, literally, I just want to square them up. They're all going to be welded and fettled and machined again and all sorts. So it's not absolutely fucking crucial. It just makes my life a little bit easier. Just to keep the job square like so. We'll just whiz along, then we'll flip it, we'll do the same with the other side, and then we'll get it marked up and ready to cut the slot. Right, so we're ready to cut the slot. We've, we've used a pointer to zero in on the first hole, so we know we're in the middle of it this way, and then we know we've got to go 18mm, then 18mm, and 
Bob's your auntie, and I'm going to drill it out to 18 mil. So we're going to have three 18 millimeter holes drilled, and then we're going to clean it up with an M mil to give us a 20 mil slot. So I'll get in there. I think I'm going to pilot drill it first because 18 mil is quite a big, big size even for this uh, milling machine. So yeah, I'll get a pilot drill through, uh, and then we'll get a big boy to drill it out to 18. Oh, I know. So here we go. Quite noisy running it. Well, 1430. Ripums from 1430 Ripums, guys. So, scream if you want to go faster. Should eat its way through there. Yeah, happy days. And now we can move it along 18 millimeters, can't we? So, we'll undo a bit, uh, table and. Turn the handles 18 mil this way. And go again. Give it a squirt up. And a feed in. Bob your auntie. That's not fucking about. I'm pleased with that. And then it'll turn itself off the feed wheel. There you go. Job's a good one. And last but my no means least, we'll do it all again. So up to 36, which is coming up. Bit too far, hold on. Bang on. Bob on the money. All right, happy days. So <coughs> So we can slow everything down and set up our 18 mil bit and then work our way back to the beginning. Do you know what? I've got that set up and I'm all drilled my pilots, but I'm proper tempted just to slot it out with an end mill like, you know, like a proper engineer. <laughs> so I might, I'm gonna have a think about it and uh, we'll see what I'll come up with. Oh, so glary lights, dirty lens. There it ends. I think we've done enough. So join me on the next one. Yeah. Please, please, please consider giving me a thumbs up. A lot of people watching, they're not subscribed. So give us a sub. Click on the notification. Check out all the bump in the description below. And I'll catch you on the next one. You can see how I'll get on with these. All right. Have a good one. Lots of love, everyone. See you soon.